Hey guys, Chris George here. And today I'm setting myself a challenge. So the challenge is, I want to complete a short film. That includes writing it, shooting it, and editing it. All in one day. That's all I'm giving myself. So I'm going to grab some breakfast, sit down quickly, come up with the idea, head out, film it, and then get back here and start editing. All together. So I got breakfast, and obviously it's not too fancy, just got a energy bar, peanut butter for you. Anyway, going old school, got myself a notebook, but I'm going to come up with the idea for this short film. Now obviously I'm going to be filming it and also acting in it, so it can't be complicated, which is always a good rule of thumb if you're trying to make a solo short film project. So I'm going to think of something basic. Um, Okay, so a good location will be just to go out to a recreational park, which is kind of an outdoor setting, obviously. Um, Post-apocalyptic world, maybe, we could do that. Obviously, if there's no people around. And you know what? Keep the story really simple. It's a single person, myself, looking for something. Um, Post-apocalyptic world. Uh, looking for water. So, you know, we'll kind of make it real world video game, I don't know, probably inspired by those type of video games like Fallout and all those type of post-apocalyptic type of worlds. Starts off sleep, wakes up, maybe temperatures rising, it's urgent, needs to get water, find something but waste, empty bottles and stuff like that. That could work. What am I going to need? Um, some kind of jacket to look kind of old school. Glasses, because you know what? I'm always wearing the glasses. And some empty bottles. And a backpack, because he's obviously like a nomad traveler, so he should have kind of a backpack. All right, so it's just turned 7 a.m. I'm heading to the location where I plan to film the short film. And that's pretty good timing so far. Still got the whole day ahead. I'm gonna film as much as I can, head back home, do the editing, and hopefully have something to upload by tonight. So it's always good to challenge yourself. And that's what I'm doing today. Challenging. So I've arrived, got my camera ready to go. Just gonna walk in a little bit. It's a national park, so hopefully there won't be too many people around. It's easier to film when there's not too many people around, that's for sure. Anyway, it's nice chill in the air, which is good. Don't wanna to get too hot doing this video. And uh, yeah, well, let's just keep moving. across this which is always a little weird when you find something like this it seems to be a shelter that someone's made in the middle of a national park because it's a good place to make a shelter bear grill style let's have a bit of a closer look so they've taken branches and what looks to be some tin stacked it up to make shelter oh and a bunch of car tires a great piece of engineering there. Uh, I don't know how good that would be to keep you dry. And, I don't know, but uh, plenty of shade, I guess. All right, got to get back to filming. Enough sightseeing. Uh, I am on the top of a hill, trying to find the location for the last shot that I'm trying to film today. Um, yeah, there's plenty of places I can see in the distance. Just got to figure out how to get there. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so back home, and I think I got the material I need. Kind of made some stuff up while I was on the on the location, which is good because, like I said, one day short film. How much was I really going to plan? I wrote down some shots earlier, but obviously I had to make up some stuff while I was out there. Got some good shots. It was a bit hard because it's kind of racing against the sun. The sun was kind of setting, and you're basically behind a hill, so I really wanted to get it at the right time. So I managed to get that shot. I think filmed a lot of B-roll, so I just got to go and edit it. Did a lot of takes. Going to put it in Hit Film Pro, which is my choice of editing. Editor, so it's a visual effects tool. I'm gonna go and do that now. Edit it and um, hopefully it turns into something. I did make something up on the spot while I was there and that was using my Fitbit as a robot uh, AI assistant type of thing. Kind of like a futuristic Google Home. Just thought, you know what? I could put some voice there to save me talking in the film because it was a bit windy and, and different stuff. So I didn't want to waste my time filming and not getting the right footage. So I thought, you know, this could be the AI assistant that does all the talking, kind of the narrative throughout the uh, film. Improvise, yeah. 
So I dropped everything into hit film, like I said before, and this is basically my edit. So I'm just running through now, checking out, make sure everything is the way I want it, and gonna render it out. <laughs> <laughs> 